Okay, let's try this again, guys. What the fuck? I don't know what I'm, what I'm doing wrong here, how I'm not able to jump to the train. <clears throat> Here we go again. Oh! A crumpled letter lay on Gagnetti's desk. Vinny Gagnetti was getting scared. He could run, but with a bullet. Why would he? Why would he fire with a shotgun? Quickly running out of time. Why would he fire with a shotgun from that distance? Was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Gagnetti would be moving fast. I don't know about angels. I almost fell again. It's fear that gives men wings. God damn it. Gagnetti hitched a ride. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. Did I make it? Ha! <laughs> it didn't look like I did, but apparently I did. All right, chapter seven, better than the last one. Well, they're saying, oh, chapter seven's better than, than chapter six. You'll like it. <laughs> You'll really like it. Trust us. This was my second train ride of the night. The way it started didn't promise anything better than the last one. Freezing wind tearing at my face like sandpaper and razors. Ice hard and slick under my hands and feet. And somewhere in the background, the wail of sirens. The city howling after me. New York sped by and fast forward. Dark rooftop water towers and a dead forest of antennas and chimneys, all a blur. This really does have a freaking Sin City uh, when the train he was vibe to slowed it. Down, Gagnetti made his move. Oh my god, he did a. Oh my god! He's shot and he's doing these crazy flips. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I can understand Max Payne being able to do it, but not him. What happened to his shotgun? He had a shotgun. Look at this! <laughs> He's supposed to be shot. He's doing Spider-Man leaps through the city. What the hell is going on in this game, man? Uh, what do I do? Oh, I see a pipe. Spider-Man leaves. What? I didn't even fire my gun. I didn't even fire my gun. His, his, his teammate here killed him. What the fuck? He killed his own guy. Yeah, it's running like shit now. The frame rate's dipping and the game's like running in slow motion almost. <clears throat> Ooh. Get him. Where are they? Okay then. <laughs> Let me see that says I like how he fires his handgun like he's holding a shotgun. <laughs> yeah, this game seems pretty buggy. NYPD, you on the roof. Drop your weapon and lie down. I Shut up. Drop your weapon and lie face it's down. Clean. He's coming down the stairs. It's clean. Okay, boss. <clears throat> no trouble. The stairway from hell. Okay then. Meh. He dies and he says, Meh. Blood. 
blood everywhere. Look. Meh. Whoa, it's a broken elevator. <clears throat> okay. Ice hard and slick. He killed Mo. <laughs> Yeah, the game, some people are saying it ran at 60 frames per second on PC. It's basically a hybrid. It's not 60, but it's like 40 to 50 frames. And then sometimes it chops up way lower. Well, I did get him, but I wasted all my Ingram ammo. Oh, fuck. Did I just do a flying leap into more Ingram ammo? I think I did. Yeah, look. Oh, my God. I got a ridiculous amount of Ingram ammo. Okay, then. Ingram is also known as Uzis. Volker, Volker. Burning bright. Shoot them in the nuts tonight. <clears throat> look at his face. I guess he must not be too happy that he's got that, that bullet in his stomach, yeah. but... Oh. Whoa. Yoink. Top of the van. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh! oh. I think I gotta go down. <clears throat> or oh no okay you can go up here now it's a dead end oh impact king uh, cheered and said fun fact number three the game's originally known as max heat so the game was changed in the 11th hour what the fuck there's a dead cop that's weird <clears throat> So I guess they want me to go up, but I don't see how I can get up there. Is there a button or something for a lift? Aha! Keep your eyes peeled, you can actually keep finding Ingram ammo, but you gotta be careful about it. It hurt me? Come on, I was jumping. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. I have no painkillers. I keep throwing grenades. Here's a couple. Keep chucking grenades at me. Baseball bat boy. Where's the other fired? Ah. Other drugs. <clears throat> Someone's firing. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, where the hell he came from? <clears throat> Damn, there's no fucking healing in here? That sucks. Nope, no painkillers in here. Chapter 7, all a blur. At least we got to a checkpoint. All a blur. Yep, good checkpoint.
much here. Blood all over the walls. Another cutscene? Yep. <laughs> Max Payne has nowhere left to go. We are very close to capturing him. You'll get a full statement then. Right now, I've got better things to do, ma'am. That was Deputy Chief Jim Rivera from the NYPD with no further comment at this time. Apart from his suspicious food habits, I figured Bravura to be one of the good guys. Fate had just dropped us on different sides in this. But when it came to capturing me, he was way out of his league. I had already ditched the cops a couple of rooftops back. For now. <laughs> so, Black Mage Sea Type thinks they should remake this game with mo modern graphics and have Mark Wahlberg be the main character. And he has, I guess, okay, the gun he used in the movie. And he should be the main gun of the game. Again, I don't know. I didn't see the movie, so I don't know if it's any good. Nice. Okay. This is it. Any moment now, Payne's gonna bust through that door. With no, listen. Is either him or us. I, for one, am gonna pump the SOB so full of lead, they'll need a forklift to carry coffee to the grave. Get here! Oh. You were saying? Damn, they all got destroyed and they threw a grenade but it went behind me, luckily. They can't handle the bullet time. They can't handle it. August, Augustus makes this Michael Shannon for Max Payne. I don't know who Michael Shannon is. What has, what has he been in? Blocked off. Oh boy! <clears throat> oh. oh! Big musky werewolf balls cheered and said, Phil Payne. You want me to play Max Payne? I'm sure I could pull it oh off. My God damn it. He was Zod Pain. in Man of Steel? Oh God, I don't remember who played Zod in Man of Steel. Oh, wait, I remember. I remember. Yeah, he was also in Boardwalk Empire, right? He was the agent, the federal agent in Boardwalk Empire. No, the drug agent. Drug enforcement agent. Ingram ammo. Shit. He still didn't die. Finally. God damn. Not only did he run across 10 rooftops bleeding like a stuck pig from a gunshot wound, then I had to hit him with 400 more bullets. I he ran out of steam in a dead end alley with steam boiling out of the sewer grates like all the fires of hell were burning high beneath us. It was shake down time. Where's Lupino? Screw you! Bad start, Vinny. Police brutality! I rate pretty high on that. You, you, uh, you, you can't just hurt me in cold blood? Uh, just keep telling yourself that. <gasps> Listen good, candy man. I'm not gonna be anybody's fall guy. I wanna know where your boss is hiding. There was no glory in this. I hadn't asked for this crap. Trouble had come to me in big dark swarms. The good and the just were like gold dust in the city. I had no illusions. I was not one of them. I was no hero. 
Just me and the gun and the crook. My options had decreased to a singular course. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, just don't hurt me no more. Lupino's at Raglan Rock, the nightclub. Book me, take me in a home into the freaking jail, just don't hurt me. Your rights will be read at your funeral. <laughs> Alright, chapter 8, A Den of Drugs. A nightclub. Ragnarok was Lupino's private nightclub. A den of drugs built into an old theater. I knew what waited inside. V had junkies ready to explode in random acts of senseless violence. And Lupino's goon squad. The worst stone cold killers this side of hell. Ragnarok was as inviting as a headache, flickering and flashing to a machine gun beat. The belly of a nightclub was a gothic theme park that began with bondage games and led to the nasty stuff from there. Thank you, Insomniatic Me, for a hundred bit cheer. I appreciate it. a cop killer bullet through the heart, like father, like son, just like Jack Lupino. All right, well, I have no ammo for this, right? Yeah. I also have no healing. Great. Ooh, some nice music. Or shotgun ammo. Where do I go? It's just closed. Uh, is there a way to open the door? Like a button or something? Not just the TV, so how do I get in? Uh, what the fuck? I don't see a way in. Why can't we be friends? He says, well, at least this isn't Glitchy's Max Payne 3. Well, so far. Ah, oh, here it is. I didn't see it. So far, it's not. Doesn't mean it won't be. We did see some glitches already. Wait, what happened? What did that open? Oh, there's a door over here. Shotgun to the balls. The book had never been a bestseller. The book had never been a bestseller? What is it? <laughs> Given the setting, I was surprised to find that somebody had been passing time reading. The paperback was entitled, The Age of Murder and Storm. The blurb on the back mentioned Norse mythos and Ragnarok, the end of a Viking world with a terrible winter that covered the earth in ice, when vile crimes were rampant and all humanity lost. I could see how somebody impressionable might get it into their head that we were at the end of time. I was also beginning to see what the nightclub and its owner were all about. <laughs> Alright, I got a friggin' painkiller. And dual ingram ammo, but not that much. Okay. A grenade? Oh my god, where the fuck did that come from? A grenade literally just dropped at my feet out of nowhere and blew me up. What the hell was that? What on the holy hell was that? It just went dink dink, boom. Uh. That made no sense at all. <laughs> right. That made absolutely no sense. As subtle with its dark message as a cop killer bullet through the heart. Like father, like son. Just like Jack Lupino. Okay, then. <laughs> the book had never 
been a bestseller. Jeff are throwing that. Okay then, assholes. I want some beer. Uh, where's the stairwell? Here we go. He's got Ingram ammo. Okay, good. <clears throat> Good, because it's much more effective at this range. Anything over here? No. Just scenery. Whack the sucker. Okay then. Books on the occult have been piled on the table. What the fuck? Why are there books on the, of the occult on the table? What is going on in here? The What's up, DKP Games? Light reading, such as Necronomicon, Witchcraft, and Paradise Lost. What a great club this is! This is what they do. They sit and read fucking black and magic Brown, books. Rainy Novum Portis. <gasps> books with pentagrams on their covers, all dealing with the occult and the infernal. Flying between stacks of horror videos and a couple of Ouija boards. What the fuck? The only thing I could take seriously was the thought of Lupino taking it seriously. He had been spending a lot of time getting intimate with the guy downstairs. <laughs> He's trying to summon the devil. A gangster trying to summon the devil, yes. Painkiller, I had to use that right away. <clears throat> Alright, new area. Yep, check rock. Uh, check rock. We're at a check rock. A checkpoint is what I meant to say. But it said Ragnarok, so I said check rock. <clears throat> Alright, we're going up. What with Dino and all? So, why can't we be friends? Says he's studying the DSP cult leader videos. I didn't even know DSP cult leader made videos. Somebody's gotta go in there. It's too freaky. Old. God damn, that was close. What well, the fuck's making that noise? There's only a dove in here or something, but I don't see it. All right, you hear it? It's like a dove. What the 
fuck is making that noise? There's doors slamming up there. I don't know what the hell's making that noise. <clears throat> Shout out to Octoa who just subscribed to the channel for the 12th month in a row. Thank you very much, Octoa, for 12 months of support. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's making that noise. Weird. Shotgun ammo full. Trap door, look. Trap door to your doom. The fucker ain't dead yet? Seriously? This reminds me of the Belfry. It's a tower in the Batman the movie. The first Tim Burton Batman movie. Yeah, it reminds me of the first Tim Burton Batman movie. Where he goes all the way up and there's a bell that falls down. And he didn't, he, there's the, the black, the black, the big giant black gangsters fighting him, beating the shit out of him. But then he puts him in a head scissors and flips him down the stair, down the fucking belfry. And he goes all the way down and dies. It's fucked up. Ingram ammo. What'd I do? Accidentally went to slow mo. Damn, look where we are. Oh god. Hey ya. Oh boy, I almost died. This fucking dark Oh no! Come on! I was pressing straight! I was pressing straight ahead, this fucking piece of shit, man. I was pressing straight ahead and he went to the side. It's imprecise PS2 controls. I gotta do the whole fucking thing from the start, and I didn't do anything wrong. Lane, it's like Dark Souls. They want you to do precise platforming with imprecise controls. He might there he is. This sucks. Fucking stupid control scheme doesn't work right. He doesn't walk straight. When you hold straight, he walks to the side. I got completely fucked over. I'm getting shot despite being behind cover. No, no, I can do this. Sucks. I already beat it. It's fucking lame. That I gotta do it again and again now, you know, because the fucking stupid platforming doesn't work. This fucking sucks. What with Dino and all, I wouldn't say anything to him. This sucks. Clear the room and I have no health. This really blows. I don't dislike the game, I like it. It's just that you can see how insanely dated it is. With its control scheme and the fact that it won't even walk straight. I'm holding straight so it walks sideways. It's fucking really annoying. There, I got a painkiller. Thank God. Ugh. Oh. 
I gotta go all the fucking way up the belfry again. Annoying. I gotta do this again. He won't walk straight. He won't walk straight. He won't. Look, I'm not doing that. I'm tapping forward and he's sidestepping. I told you the controls are terrible. Look, I gotta like do this. Look, he's moving right. I didn't do that. Dude, he did it again. I'm not doing that. He keeps moving right by himself. That's why I'm falling. Look. What the fuck? He keeps moving right when I'm tapping forward. Oh my god. Okay, I fucking made it. Jesus H. Christ. That was a pain in my ass. Your boy Bob Jude, 100 bit cheery, says, I, sw I swap control schemes on this for the platform to the D pad because the stick drifts. Yeah, it definitely does. And Sexilomner just uh, sub for the third month in a row. He's glad to see you playing one of my favorite games. Well, thank you very much for the resub. <clears throat> So where the fuck am I going? Oh, come on. No, come, no, no. Oh, no. You gotta be joking. I gotta go all the fucking way over there on this thing? Come on, man. Nah, this ain't right. I gotta go all the way over there. I see the door. Oh, my God. I'm gonna die. This fucking sucks. He's going right. It's not me. That's the th that's the game itself is forcing you to the right. This fucking blows. I really hope there's a checkpoint through that door. I really do. Ugh. Fuck this. I'm not doing this. I'm going over here. Okay, I made it. Thank God, I made it to the checkpoint. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. God damn. His body was flying. The blood splatters are pretty good in this game. Gotta admit. Hello! He runs right up to the door to get shot in the face. I didn't train that guy very well. Look at his body! Whoa! <laughs> That's an action movie death right there. The body flies over the railing. Alright, I see some painkillers. Thank God, I need them badly. Take two right now. What the fuck? They all ganged up behind me.
What the hell's a drum set? <laughs> Rock band stage. Hey, what's up with that? What's up with that? Oh, I still the guitar made a noise. Yeah, I'm going up the other side. Well, wow, Freddie Bosley says that Soldier Boy has a song called Max Payne. Ah. He actually hit me. Oh my god, I can't walk straight. I can't walk straight. I can't do it. He walks sideways. I'm not doing that. It's the game itself is buggy. He will not just walk straight. He fucking turns to the side. Ah. Bitch. And he flew off the ledge. That's great. Resident Evil Beating just cheated. He says, what do you think of Double May Cry 5 having two to three player multiplayer? Uh, I don't know. I don't really think about it. How about that? There we go. Hey, uh. Hey, uh. Hey, uh. Oh, fuck. I gotta open another stage door. Yeah. There's another one I gotta open. Hey, uh. Yeah, but seriously, that's what was like, oh, money well spent, someone cheered, and all Phil said was, I don't know. I didn't even know that that Devil May Cry was going to have co-op. Even even though, know, apparently it's a rumor. And how would I know how to comment on it if I don't know how it works? You know, it's a completely random question. There's no way I can answer it. How do you expect me to answer a question like that? All right. Henjin Boo just resold for the fifth month in a row. He says, shout out to my friend Camilla from Sweden. Also, use bullet time. I do when I need it. Oh, what the fuck? Dude, seriously, still? I can't get through. What happened? Why is the game getting annoying now? The game was good up to now. Now it's getting fucking annoying. Platforming that doesn't work. And fucking backtrack 300 times to keep pulling levers. Okay, did that work? I think that might have worked. Ugh. Not seeing any enemies here. Stringer Cheers says this game actually has adaptive difficulty, so the game will get easier if you die a bunch. Does it? That's interesting, but I wonder if that's the case. This is the console version, so maybe maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. He narrowly made it. Narrowly made it. All right, chapter nine. This is the final part of, of part one, right? Straight from a bad dream. So after this, we've completed part one. <clears throat> The backstage area led to Lupino's inner sanctum. The hot air inside was like an invisible wall, thick with incense and something else. A sickly sweet smell that made you gag. Very blood. This was the rotten core of the Big Apple. Lupino lurked somewhere ahead, like a spider at the center of his web, waiting. The vapors in the air started to make my head swim. Torn pieces of a letter lay scattered on the sofa. On the sofa? Oh, no, they didn't. Oh, there's a different sofa. <clears throat> Punchinello had threatened Lupino in writing, 
The note had been torn to pieces, bloody fingerprints all over them. Don't want you to think that one of my boys is not playing with a full deck. Shape up, Jack. We are running a business here. I'd hate to send the trio to strong arm you. The trio were the Don's notorious henchmen. Hmm. It was obvious that Lupino hadn't been intimidated by the threat. Oh shit! I accidentally hit circle. That sucks. Lupino's notes covered the table. That's so, so. I was like trying to readjust my hands on my controller yeah, and I Lupino hit circle. Was crazy, all right. The table was scattered with notes of demented arcane nonsense written in rusty blood. Ew. A mishmash list of demons, devils, and dark gods evoked. Beelzebub! Asmodeus! Baphomet! Lucifer! Loki! Chitulu! Lilith! Hela! Blood given to you all. Someone's been playing a lot of Persona. Years after that old <laughs> Faustian deal, your soul for power and fortune. Just sign in the dotted line with your blood. Lupino's notebook. All plot stuff here. Jack Lupino was crazy, all right. Mythic wolves let loose to devour the sun and the moon. Lupino is the wolf. I'm Mr. Beast. I'm Mr. The Beast. The big, bad Fenris wolf. I'm the man <laughs> of the world man, wearing the flesh of fallen angels. After Y2K, the end of the world had become a cliché. <laughs> but who was I to talk? A brooding underdog Avenger alone against an empire of evil, out to right a grave injustice. Everything was subjective. There were only personal apocalypses. Nothing is a cliché when it's happening to you. Hugh Hypocrisy Charity said, Burn in hell, Burnell. The flesh of fallen angels! Come to me all! Astaroth, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, Baphomet, Lucifer, Loki, Satan, Chitulu, Lilith, Ella! Blood to you all! He's insane! Secret, living under the skin of reality. I've seen it. The corruption of flesh! What I'm the f- I am the wolf! He is the wolf! Guy is crazy. Who the fuck is he? He's up there, I guess. <clears throat> well, they loaded you up on literally everything. Full ammo, full full healing, everything. Where do I go? Where do I go to get to him? I don't see a stairwell anywhere. Uh, <clears throat> Freddie Bosley shooting says, Shout out to King of Hypocrisy, the biggest troll fan. Yo! That was lagtastic. Ah! All right, now what? Nice frontal roll. Okay. Oh. Delayed action death.
How many guys do I have to kill? Action again. Hold it. Hold it. Okay, now I'll have the shotgun. Is that him? The fuck is going on? Master Sword took me a buck. I, I can't read what he said yet. Catching it somewhere. And this one was the Empire State Building of Catches. Levino just pumped up and dying to go 15 rounds with a mutant alligator. And then he started this spooky monkey talk, straight from a bad dream. Mine. I have tasted the flesh of fallen angels. <laughs> what is going on? I've tasted the devil's green blood. It runs in my veins. I've seen beyond a world of skin. The architecture of blood and bow and arrow. Death is coming. She is coming. And hell follows with her. Day. This is the twilight winter. I am ready to be her son. <laughs> her time is now. And all ah. who stand in her way must. He's Die! Russell Lubasine says, is he Bray Wyatt? Yeah, it looks like Bray Wyatt. His weird Hawaiian shirt. Die! <laughs> You'll die! You'll <laughs> die! Now! Oh, die! Killed him. Well, that was a build up for nothing. He just stood there and took a hundred shotgun shells to the face. All right, the American dream I complete. Went down. I wanted to make real sure he'd stay that way. <laughs> he was a bad monster. Turned them into friggin' zombie demons from outer space. I think he's dead already. Huh? And that's when it happened. But dead or not, you've got the wrong guy. In stepped this knockout femme fatale holding a gun to my face. I returned the favor. Damn. Part two, A Cold Day in Hell. So this is the second act. There's three acts to the game, apparently. That guy got completely fucked. He just ran into the corner and got himself stuck with repeated shotgun Lisa blasts. Punchinello. Lisa Punchinello was the Don's wife. Mona Sachs. Lisa's evil twin. Your safety's off, evil twin. You might hurt someone with that gun of yours. Lisa's the damsel in distress. I'm the professional. I'd blow you away without batting an eye. Sure, and you can check out my credentials splattered all over this joint. <laughs> Jack couldn't have framed you. Not the state he was in. We're after the same slime bag. Angelo Punchinello's the one who murdered your friend and framed you with it. You know this for a fact. I've got my sources. I don't have a clue these days. I just shoot them as they come. Who put a contract on the Archfiend? This one's mine. I hate the guts of that sadistic wife beater. He's already dead, though. <laughs> Why not pool our bullets for this one? I thought you'd never ask. My finger was starting to twitch. How do you like your whiskey? I'm easy. As long as you don't try to slip me a Mickey. You're a real angel. And then she mask. did. She slipped him a Mickey. It was good stuff. Tasted sweet as honey going down. Nothing personal. Can't risk you going berserk and getting Lisa killed. So she did slip him a Mickey. What an idiot. What a complete idiot. <laughs> the nightmare was always the same. Violent shapes moving in darkness, old and ugly. The killer's mad laughter was a riddle filled with wicked innuendo. What the hell's going on? Somewhere, oh my god. The baby was crying. He's in a dream sequence, I think. Yeah, he is. He's some kind of a zany dream sequence. Oh, boy. We're back at the beginning of the game. All right, so shout out to Master Saru. He cheered and said, hey, Phil. Well, he gave me a dollar, actually. He says, since you brought up Persona, I wanted to know what did you think of Persona 3? It's my favorite in the series. I think you enjoyed Persona 2 Eternal Punishment. It's not super flashy, but it has a good story and battle system. 
I like Persona 3. Okay. Think Vampire cheered. I said the atmosphere of this game makes me think about the Dark Souls DLCs for some reason. Why can't we be friends, Juice? Is this what your detractors sound like? And then Chipe cheered. Thank you guys for all your cheers and support. All right, into the next section. 